Okey, 31 orang online. Eh. Okey, apa? Kita boleh teruskan. So, last class kita dah bincang berkenaan oh. acceptance sample system, uh, uh, system eh. acceptance sample system which is uh, covering normal inspection, tighter inspection, normal uh, tighten, normal and also reduce inspection. Okay, uh, before I forget, eh, um, we're going to have a test next week, which is on Monday, but I would like to see you again. Is it possible or not if we have uh, another session on Friday afternoon? Okay, we go through uh, some uh, revision for test number two, and also if you have any question, you can ask during that time as preparation for test number two. Is it okay or not? We schedule on Friday afternoon, maybe around three o'clock on Friday. Can you, you reply to uh, chat box this Friday, 3, 3 p.m.? Okay, I would like to go through the review to prepare for test number two. And also, if you have any question related to assignment, okay, related to anything on, uh, particularly related to preparation for test number two, Okay, we can discuss during that time. Okay, please respond to chat box. I would like to see majority of you available or not. Okay, so again, 3 p.m. Friday, this Friday. Three p.m. This. Okay, let me see what happened here in the chat box. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, I think many of you have no problem, right? So I see the response that coming. Okay, of course, maybe one or two of you not able, but that one I, I cannot entertain 100% lah, but we try to get the majority, eh? the majority, the, answer, the response should be from majority. I cannot get, I cannot see from my screen, but I see from the top of the computer, many of them say, okay, all right. So if, if, if you have any problem, please let me know. Maybe you can also respond to the group, eh? to the WhatsApp group. Okay, let me complete the uh, acceptance sampling for today. And uh, okay, I would like to share with you uh, okay, a new file here. Okay, I, will, I, will, I will put it uh, to your telegram. Okay. Oh, I cannot share directly, yeah, totally frame. Uh, but anyway, let me put it in my email first. Okay, while waiting for that, okay, let's, let me go through this. Uh, we have discussed about this. Uh, Titan inspection and so on, and we make uh, you know how to use this table, uh, this table which is MIL 105 uh, STD 105E, or it is known in, in, in civilian context, in industrial context as Z 1.4. Okay, this is basically the system that has been established professionally. So, where we guide us, okay, how many samples to take. Okay, what is lot size, how many sample, and what is accept number, what is reject number. Okay, so this is acceptance sampling system. Okay, we have a system to make decision. And we, the flexibility in the system here is we can switch. Okay, we can switch our decision depending on the performance of the, of the inspection. Okay, we can start with normal inspection. And we can switch it to reduce inspection or to tighten inspection. 
reduce inspection where our performance have been very good lah. Okay, pemeriksaan longgar. So uh, I think many organisations would like to have reduce inspection because it's less costly, less stressful. But changing from normal to tighter is painful lah. This macam tukar kepada apa PKP D, okay, daripada PKP kepada PKP yang diperketatkan itu stressful, it's stressful. So same also in the inspection of acceptance sampling, okay. So that system is can be adopted in even in our social life, eh? switching from one uh, SOP to another SOP yang lebih ketat. Alright, so okay. Okay, this is example of problem here. Okay, problem 10.3, given a lot size of uh, 295 inspection level 2, LQ value is 3.15, where the isolated lot is from vendor with continuous stream of product determine sampling plan. Okay, so this is a simple problem, but we need to know to use it properly. Okay, so we are given um, this scenario, lot size. Okay, lot size means that how much you produce. We produce only 295. Okay, level three, level, sorry, level two. Okay, level two, limiting quality, which is, this is a, uh, what we call this AQL, acceptable quality limit, okay, 3.15%, okay, so where the isolated lot is from vendor, okay, from a vendor with continuous stream of product, so meaning that this production has been continuing, continuous, as a mass production, determine sampling plan, so what type of sampling plan is suitable? So we go and see the table, uh, 10.7, okay, what is 10.7? 10.7 is down, right? Oops, I don't have it here. Okay, 10.7, so. Okay, I will provide later, 10.7, eh? we will provide later. I don't have it to show it here, okay? Then seven is not there. Okay, the information in the last five column, okay, blah, 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 the difference only that's not, okay. I will provide that table later. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I want to share with you another note. Okay, how can we form the sampling? Eh? So, my, okay, my connection now is not stable eh, on my phone. I'm sending it from the phone. Just a minute. Eh? Okay. All right, I guess on there, okay, let me look it for my email now.
it's very slow. The downloading is very slow. Wow, I, I don't know why it's still loading. Okay, I have it now. Uh, Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, okay, let me see whether it's here or not. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let me share on the screen. Okay. You see now, right? You see now? Yes. Okay. So we have it here now. This lot for lot acceptance sampling by attribute. Okay. So this is a foundation of the acceptance sampling. Okay. Um, based on how we should implement it. Yeah. And also some statistical aspect. To it. Okay. So I just want to confirm you see on chapter nine showing here lot by lot acceptance sampling by attribute. Please respond. All right, good. Okay. So we see here, okay, before actually uh, we use that sampling system in the table that you have seen in the last class. Okay. So some foundation of, of this is uh, I did mention about OCC, yeah? Operating Characteristic Curve. Okay. So and also we need also to understand the risk between consumer and producer. Okay. We have consumer risk, we have producer risk. Okay. And AQL, LQ. So these are the things that this is behind uh, the table that we have seen. Okay, so before we we do that, okay, we need to understand, okay, how can we do the inspection? Okay, this part I, I will share with you this this note later. Eh? I will put it in Telegram. The advantage of acceptance sampling, when to use acceptance sampling, okay, the situation that requires acceptance sampling to be used, what are disadvantage and disadvantage. This is you can read on your own, lah, straightforward. Eh? Okay, 
So the type of sampling we already discussed, single sampling, double sampling, and so on. Yeah, but for now, I would like to uh, discuss on the lot formation. This is we have not discussed on the lot formation. How do we form the lot? Okay, so let's say we are a supplier of components okay, to, to our buyer. How, how do we want to form the lot size so that it going later on, it will going to be a fair decision making to our client. Okay, so the forming of lot size will influence the effectiveness of our sampling plan. Okay, what I meant by lot size is, for example, this one. Eh? When you send for shipment, let's say this is a trailer. Okay, you have a trailer. Okay. When the trailer arrives in the container, okay, let's say this container full of shoes imported from Vietnam. Now you want to do inspection to accept or to reject this, this, this shipment. So you must make sure that whatever inside this box, this, this container is homogeneous. Okay? You cannot have a biased uh, packaging. So inside here, okay, there will be small boxes of shoes Okay, arrange inside. Okay, maybe many many boxes available inside. Okay, and so on. So the issue now, how how these boxes put inside here? Okay, how they are put here? How they are arranged? And which boxes you going to take as a sample? Okay. Because we do not want later on that okay, the customer will complain that there is a bias when you are taking sample. Okay? You are biased when taking sample. So or we do not want that the supplier is cheating us. They just put all the good one okay, in front here. Let's say this is the front side of this, let's say a front side of, of, the, of the trailer. Okay. okay, we don't want that only this part are good. The bad one is no good, okay? So it has to be fair to both parties, okay? It's fair to the both parties. So we need to form what we call this homogeneous uh, lot, okay? The lot has to be homogeneous, meaning that there shouldn't be a bias. It shouldn't be any... any uh, you know, inclination to a certain uh, type of quality. Okay, it has to be homogeneous, coming from the same factory, the okay, same process. Okay, coming from the same process. Okay, homogeneous. Okay, we means that all products in the lot is produced by same machine, same operator, same input material, and so on. And only then it will be a fair decision making. If you mix up in that uh, lot, okay, so it's very difficult to uh, later on to diagnose where is the root cause of the problem. Okay, so in quality, even in control chart, okay, you cannot mix up sample taken from machine one and machine two, machine three cannot. We have one machine one, you just sample it from machine one, plot a chart for machine one. Otherwise, uh, difficult for diagnosis of assignable causes that we want to eliminate that causes from repeating. Okay, so homo homogeneous meaning that same machine, same operator, same material. Okay, so when the unit are different source are mixed, sampling plan does not function. Okay, so sampling plan cannot be used if you are mixing up. Okay, from different source, different uh, operator. Okay. Difficult to take corrective action, as I say just now. Okay. Second aspect of effectiveness assembling is lot should be large, as large as possible. Okay. The lot should be as large as possible. Sample size does not increase as rapidly as the lot size. Okay. So the lower inspection cost result in larger lot size. 
Okay. So if you are larger lot size, lot size meaning that how much you produce. Okay. When you produce a lot of item, sampling is uh, cheaper. Okay. Sampling will be cheaper for lots large lot size compared to smaller lot size. Okay. For example, the lot size is two thousand and your sample is one hundred twenty-five units. So this is about six point two five percent. So, but if you produce four thousand, okay, your sample size is two hundred, about five percent. So you will be as as good as you are producing two thousand. Okay. So you see here that two thousand, four thousand, but here you take one twenty-five. By proportion, you should take 250, right? But if you take it 200, okay, the effectiveness is about the same, okay? So, uh, okay. Uh, we also need to be careful in terms of packaging requirement. Okay, packaging. Because items are produced in small unit. Okay, one package may, might contain 10 units. Okay, so, uh, and also there are constraints of material handling. Okay, how do we handle this production, these products in the factory? Okay, do we use conveyor? Do you, always, you, do you have trolley? So trolley also have limited size. Okay, so, so the concept of homogeneous and the concept of packaging and material handling uh, is related but okay, we shouldn't be confused on that aspect. Eh? So, um, lot, a lot may consist of many, page, uh, many packages, okay, may also consist of uh, many, several shipment. Okay? So, if two different machine or two different operator are included in a ship, shipment, they are separated lot. They are separate lots and should be identified. Okay, let's say you are having a lot coming from machine one and another lot is coming from machine two. So it should be uh, label. Okay, that's why when you see a product and normally they put it lot, production lot number. This is to differentiate which lot it is being produced. When you go for COVID uh, injection also, you can see that the vaccine given to you, they have ID, ID number. Okay, if anything happened, they will investigate the dose that given to that particular person coming from which lot producing when, who are the person that involved in the production. So they want to investigate if anything wrong and they put a lot size and even the lot number, serial number. So this is important for keeping track. But nowadays people are using the technology like blockchain, okay, in computer science. Eh? I think you may also heard about it. It is more uh, a high technology which is difficult to cheat okay we cannot tamper okay we cannot uh, change easily because if you put it printed lot number on the uh, products people can go and erase and put it a different sticker easily but with the blockchain technology okay, it's impossible to to cheat okay the traceability of items and we can see what happened to the items producing and how it moved from one station to another station okay so that tracking is is important to ensure originality authenticity of the information and so on okay now we have that lot let's say now we have the, the lot how can we do the sample selection now how do we select the sample okay we have the container now just now so how do i select which one do i select should i select Okay, somewhere here, one unit, somewhere here, one unit, somewhere here, one unit, here, one. How do I know that I want to select here, here and here? Okay, this can be determined what we call it random number. Okay, random number is very important. Okay, random number. We use random number. Nobody knows which box that you're going to pick. Even you as a supplier or the other party as, as the buyer also do not know which box will be picked by the inspector because we have uh, agreed to use, for example, the random number. Okay, so random number can be generated by computers and even your calculator also can generate random number. You can put random number in computer 
uh, any program they can generate this number okay or uh, you can may use uh, i don't know i have not seen 20 sided random number die okay also can use this die or you can use other other method like the uh, you know the wheel people are using the wheel to rotate the wheel okay for example you go on banking now on internet banking after you do any transaction they come with a wheel to play with you allow you to play to get whether you get a bonus point or what you know so this is also generated by random number nobody knows where you're going to stop in that wheel okay unless they manipulate in the program lah they manipulate the program so that they avoid from getting a big uh, price in, the, in, in that uh, wheel of fortune eh? so so this may be used okay so let's say this this is random number you generate this random number random number okay the number is just any number so how to read the number now so the procedure is you can start anywhere in this table anywhere in this table okay you can start anywhere in the table at any location okay so you can select either you want to go sequently in direction up and down or you want to go the uh, you know horizontally let's say i pick this number from my starting point number three randomly pick yeah okay, i say i want a three number okay because why three number if i pick three number so it meaning that okay i will i will use this number okay the first three number let's say i pick this three number because i need three number why three number okay i will represent my my trailer the location of this container according to that number okay so let's say trailer already gone just only container left so you can say okay i have here is okay this i say this is the a okay the length this is the height okay let's say i put here is b la. b is the depth Okay, B and the height is C. So when I have a three number, A, B, C, okay, so this number can start at zero, zero from this point. Okay, we can start at zero, zero from this point. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So you can level that this number is in term of in term of uh, the the length here. You put number one, number two, number three, number four, okay, number five, so and so on. Here one, two, three, four, maybe until here twenty. Let's see lah. I just assume that way. And also going up, you have one here. To here maybe up, up to here is 10 okay so based on the random number let's say random number you got just now okay three number abc three number here we have 308 okay 308 so it mean that we have to take the third third number here okay just pick third number on this okay zero okay we don't have zero okay because the row here start with one this this side b so being that i cannot use this number so what i do is this number not cannot be used okay because i don't have zero this is also zero i don't have zero row i cannot use this number so the next number i will use is 271 okay so 271 i go to here so meaning that it's now coming from two, two seven, two seven one, eh? two seven one, two seven one. So I will pick number two here. Seven. It will be coming from here. Maybe somewhere here seven. So I go that from two. I go deeper. Okay, I stop at seven, and then now the height is one. 
Okay, the height. So the first layer. So the box that is located here, we will pick. Okay, I will pick this box and I will check the quality of this. Is there any defects or not? Okay, so this is how we use random number. Let's say I go to the next sample, 969. Okay, so we go to, the, to that number, 969, 969. Okay, so 9. Okay, in this case, we have only five rows. There is no nine. Okay, so I cannot use that number. So I have to skip, get the next number. This number cannot use because zero in the middle, zero in the middle. But this one I can, 273. Okay, 273. So it happened to be the, just, just the next of this box. Okay, the next of this, somewhere here. I pick the sample again at this point. Okay, at that point. So now I, I take two sample, two boxes already. Okay, I move on to two, three, seven. Okay, two, three, seven. So I go to the second, second, second sequence here, seven, and I go to the next one there. So it's unlucky, yeah. Very close, everything is close here, but easy for us lah. But this is random anyway. Okay, two, three, seven, and six, four, nine. Okay, 649. The next one. So if you cannot use, we just skip that one. Okay, 162, yes, we can use 162. Now we go to 162. One, one here. It will be taken. Okay, so you might be wondering, huh, how can I move? Okay, going down, and then from down, moving from here. This one you have to be fixed, huh? the way that you do it. You cannot jump one time going down, one time going horizontal, must be consistent. Let's say you say, I want to take only the first three number. The, sec the, four the fourth and fifth is not useful because only two number. So this, the way that we read the number must be uh, consistent. Huh? Let's say you want to read horizontally. Okay, you pick a number, let's say I pick the number here. Okay, the next number I want to pick is like this. Also can, 350, the next is like this. Okay, so the next inspection will be this one. Okay, will be this one. Continue like this. Okay, so... Uh, sir. Yes. Uh, table untuk random number ni memang fit eh? No, it is uh, generated by a random formula. Uh. So it will be where is nobody knows what is the number. Normally we generate it using random. In computer programming, we have that function R A N D. Okay. So we can generate how many you want to generate. You can generate hundred. Even in Excel, you can generate that random number. Okay. So it will give list of numbers. Release some numbers. So even computer uh, calculator will not really generate. Okay, so color you do not want to use table like this, you can just press your calculator to give random number. Okay, so the purpose is to avoid bias. Even ourselves, we don't know which sample to be taken. Even the buyer also doesn't know which sample. Because if you don't use random number, what happens is people will go and pick only good boxes to ensure that the shipment is not rejected. Faham, eh? Because you might be involved later on, maybe later on you work in a company in purchasing some of engineering component from supplier and it's arrived. And what you want to do? Which sample you want to take? Okay? Sample mana nak ambil ni? So, you must agree with the supplier that we're going to use random number so that he cannot uh, complain. Okay, you are biased in, in selecting uh, the sample for decision making. Okay, so that random number uh, okay, using table, which is the option just now already printed, or you can use you can use it uh, from from Excel generated or can be from calculator generated, but. Uh, but it's good if from beginning you, you already have that random number, the sequence, which, which component to take before you break the container. Lah. But once you break, 
you open the door here and you you rotate the random number one by one it's going to be very tedious but you it's better you generate from beginning you list down what are the number to be taken okay what number to be taken so that uh, when you implement it it's not not going to have any problem lah. You, let's say you want to have 10 sample so just take 10 random number and based on this 10 number you will make decision based on the inspection of the 10 you come out with, uh, you know, the inspection will result in how many non-conforming and how many conforming. And decision will be based on the system that you have selected from the uh, Z1.4D, yeah, for Z1.4 system uh, that is telling us what is accept number, what is reject number, and so on. Okay. Yes. Okay, that, that one is I decided just now. Uh, the decision that I want I want is based on based on uh, location. Satu adalah katakan this is lebarnya, satu lagi dalamnya, satu lagi tingginya. So I need three numbers then in order for me to define any point, any coordinate on this container lah. But if you agree, kata okay, we don't are going to use. Uh, we're not going to use uh, location, but we're going to use serial number. Also can. Product has serial number, can. Okay, you have serial number, but the problem is you have to search uh, each of the unit. What is the serial number? Okay, you can say, okay, we're going to follow the serial number. Okay, so all the product here will be assigned the serial number. Okay, so based on the serial number, okay, you pick that number. The three digit I use just now is, as explained here, represent the width, the height, and the depth of a container. But not necessarily like this. You can say, okay, I want to use only two digit. Also can. For example, uh, you have a lot of 90 unit. Okay? The lot of 90 unit. But the lot, you will be assigned number one to number 90. Okay? Let's say in this in this container only 90, only 90 boxes available in this container. Okay, so let's say you don't want to inspect on 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 the on on the container. You just take out everything out. Okay, maybe in in the uh, packaging unit. Okay, inside the packaging here you have 90. Okay, so you can label that item, okay, because you have 90 here, but you have to label, label this item, okay, 90, bo 90 boxes inside here. But do it labeling before inspection, lah. okay, you have, you have nine, 90 boxes inside. Label it number one, number two, number three. Okay, put a sticker. But will be redundant lah. Some people they use serial number because every product has a serial number. Okay, if you do the labeling like this, okay, you say I have 90. So which number that I want to pick? So we go to random table. Okay, random table we decide what are the number. For example, after you having that, okay. Let's say uh, in this example, uh, they take only two numbers because the maximum is 90. Okay. Um, okay, the number selected downward, okay, 93, 53. Okay, let's say 53, where is 53 in this table? Okay, 53. Okay, so randomly start. Uh, Okay, in the notes there it says 53. Okay, 53 here, right? 53. But it goes after that. Uh, the number go downward on the right third column. Third column. Okay. So let's say that is the starting point. You randomly pick there. And then um, the first three numbers, 
Okay, 15. Okay, this is 15. Okay, it shows here 15. The next number is 73. Okay, so because we have 1 to 90, so we still can use all this number that we selected, no problem. Okay, so you can move on to here. 45, 30, 6, no problem, 6, because we have from 1 to 90, 27. But when we go to 96, we cannot take this number because there is no boxes label with 96. The, big, the largest number is 90. Okay? The largest is 90. So, um, okay, that, that's one way to, to, to move on. And then, we go to next number, we go to the next number. Okay, like this one, 52, 82. But we have to be consistent lah. Kalau you are using like this. Okay, so even the next number, you say, okay, the next number will be this one. Okay. So if you follow like this lah, going down. So either two digit or three digit, this is subjective, depend on how you decide that. Okay, if you say that I have a lot of between 1 and 90 as a label, I use this one. Okay, so another approach that we use is serial number, as I said just now, serial number. Okay, we match the serial number with the random number for the purpose of which unit is to be selected. Okay, so in the packaging also we can have this, what we call it, stratified sampling. Okay, we may you want to sample the first layer, Second layer, third layer, fourth layer also can. Eh? So, where we do this stratification, we call this okay? stratification. Okay, so it is not always practical to assign number to each unit. Okay, utilize a serial number or utilize the location number. Stratification will be used if that this situation is not possible to be used. Eh? stratification okay a lot of the lot of package with sample drawn from each stratum can be effective substitute of random sampling okay meaning that you are taking every layer okay this layer you will take your sample from this layer okay and then go to the next layer we'll we'll take a few sample also can Okay, so this is another way of taking sampling. So of course you're not inspecting all, but you take it randomly for each layer. Okay, so this is another substitution of random sampling. Okay, so the techniques is to divide the log package into strata, or, or we call it layers. Okay, each strata is further subdivided into cube. Okay, as illustrated by stratum one. Within each cube, sample is drawn Okay, sample is drawn from the entire value. Okay, by dividing the lot of package in the strata and cube within each strata. Okay, so these technique pieces are selected from all location in that lot. So it's not going to be, uh, I mean, purely uh, randomized, but in this case, we guarantee that every layer is have a representation in terms of sampling. Okay. Variety of bias may occur. So we want to avoid bias, okay? because bias is unfair to the supplier and also to the customer. A bias uh, sample may occur uh, okay, when the operator makes sure that the unit on the top okay, is the best quality, for example. They just put, because at the top, it's easy to take, you know? People tend, have tendency to pick only at the top, okay? Tama-tama sebelum tu dah kena belanja kat uh, supplier. Okay, supplier dah panggil pergi makan tom yam ke kat mana-mana. Lepas tu baru nampak inspection. So this is what we call it conflict of interest. Okay, you have to be careful eh? uh, dealing with this uh, acceptance sampling, uh, accepting shipment from vendors. Okay, ramai orang nak berkawan nanti. Okay, nanti nak dia bagi tayar kereta percuma, tiket melancur percuma. Sebab apa? Dia nak beli kamu supaya menerima bad products that they have shipped that. Okay, this is part of unethical activities happening lah. Okay, 
kalau tak tak tak, tak betul lagi bulan okey akan boleh masuk MACC lah pakai baju oren okey sebab telah menerima uh, okey menerima suapan untuk meluluskan produk yang yang tidak baik okey boleh faham it looks simple but we see this many cases okay unethical activities that's happening okay what happened to the non accepted lots okay non accepted lots what we can do is we can uh, pass to the production and be doing sorting out okay so non accepted you 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 still accept for example okay but they will do the sorting which one good which one bad sorting based on 100% inspection 100% inspection because we do not want to throw away okay so maybe we charge the supplier because you need to do sorting now because the lot has been rejected you need to do the inspection okay so another way is uh, we ask okay the supplier to take it all the non accepted lots go back to the uh, i mean we we ask the rectification okay, at the customer plan okay or we can ask them to 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 go back to their own plan but this is very costly lah okay for example if you are you are buying your company is in johor the shipment of the part is coming from penang you want ask you want to ask the trailer to go back to penang to sorting out what is good what is bad so it's very costly so you may have the agreement any non accepted uh, lots will be rectified at customer but customer eligible to make a claim for this 100% inspection okay so all the shipment costs are saved there is physiological disadvantage since the consumer person are aware that producer x has produced that was not accepted okay non accepted lot can be returned to producer Okay, for rectification that I say just now this is no good today uh, very expensive lah okay kalau coming from overseas lagi lah okay that's why sometimes oh. eh, you may you may see that people are selling some product very cheap they want it to be uh, uh, to to be done it quickly so it might be from rejected lots okay maybe they receive shipment of products that has been rejected okay at the port of receiving Okay, port Tanjung Pelepas or port Kelang, eh? somebody are taking it, buying it, buy the item very cheap and they are selling it. Okay, we do not know that it is actually the reject product. If you see, okay, the original price is 200, now they are selling 30 ringgit, you know. People are tempted to buy, actually it's a reject product. Okay, instead of they bringing this product back to their own factory for rectification, they just sell it to anybody who want to buy. Okay, so be careful eh? when somebody is selling something unreasonably cheap it might be a reject product okay since shipping costs are paid to the post direction cost become a motivator factor to improve the quality okay so the best way to improve quality in the first place and don't uh, pass the defect to the uh, customer or, or supplier all right so statistical aspect just i will take you one more minute eh? just to touch a little bit on this operating characteristic sample or simply plan hop oh, habis kat situ eh saya saya tak tak habis dah kita okay, apalah saya continue next time lah. okay so actually the curve that i show earlier this curve eh? what we call operating characteristic curve we have somewhere here a point okay we call it 1 minus alpha over here we have beta okay alpha is we call it consumer risk okay risiko pembeli consumer risk okay beta is producer risk risiko risiko pengeluar producer risk apa masuk risk ini? Risiko risiko pengeluar adalah pelanggan menolak produk yang baik. A good product but because of sampling 
customer reject. But for consumer side, risiko adalah menerima produk yang tidak baik. Okay, accepting bad products. Okay, so one minus alpha, we call it probability of acceptance will be one minus alpha lah in that case because because alpha is the value somewhere between here and here. This is alpha, that range. Okay, the highest value here is one. Okay, on this side, this is percentage of non-conforming. Non-conforming. So, the higher non-conforming we have, okay, the lower probability of acceptance, lah, the lower probability of acceptance. This is what we call it operating characteristic curve that I've explained earlier when we discussed about sampling system. Okay, so we can develop this curve for single sampling, double sampling, and so on to see that yeah, which sampling is uh, is good. Okay, I think I stop there. I see you again on Friday afternoon, 3 p.m. Is it okay for us to prepare for test number two?